Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and today we're talking about extroverted sensing. Now extroverted sensing is one of Carl Jung's cognitive functions and it maps out and describes a person who lives primarily in the present moment. Extroverted sensing is associated with action, attention, energy, with information, with living a life based on experiences and the pursuit of experiences. Extroverted sensors are drawn to being in the spotlight. They like to draw attention to themselves, they like to be seen and heard, they like to make themselves known to the world. And they like to get to know the world, they like to get to know others, they're interested in other people, in life, in everything that's happening around them. They find everything interesting and they are, in one sense of the word, one of the most open types in the sense that they are always trying to learn from their experiences and from what's happening and from everyone they're meeting. So, when extroverted sensing is the flow function, as I like to talk about it in Neo Jungian typology, extroversion and sensing gives energy, gives stability, gives a sense of satisfaction to the extroverted sensing types. So, extroverted sensing can either give you satisfaction or it can make you anxious and overwhelmed. In the introverted intuitive type, extroverted sensing is often associated with being something uncomfortable or overwhelming. It can be too much, too much of reality, too much attention, too many things happening. But in the extroverted sensing type's life, extroverted sensing can never be too much, rather it can be too little. Not enough attention, not enough of real experiences. You're not, you're not able to go out enough, you're not able to have enough fun in life, you're not able to meet people you want to meet, it takes too long, things you have to wait all the time, you have to stand in line, you have to take your turn in things. And that can be difficult for an extroverted sensing type. More difficult even is when extroverted sensing is not only your flow function but also your dominant priority in life. When it's your dominant priority in life, you're an adventurer, you're a person that wants to live in the moment, you're a person that wants to go out and see the world and experience as much as you can from life and what it has to offer. You like to be where things happen, you like to be at the parties where all the other people are, you like to be at the events where everybody is going, you want to be at the places where life is happening. You're the person that likes to live an intense life, a life of action and events. You like to be where there's uh, big explosions or danger, perhaps a little bit of danger. Uh, perhaps a chance to be a hero, perhaps a chance to be a, somebody that rises to the occasion. Uh, to be the person that uh, goes out and fixes a situation or takes charge or stays calm even if the world is a bit overwhelming. When it's the inferior priority, if extroverted sensing is your inferior priority, it can either be some kind of need in yourself that you've neglected for a long time, you wanted or thought about it and you are really interested in it and you really dreamt about it for a long time but you don't have a time for it. In some types extroverted sensing can be a flow function but a hidden source of flow, a hidden source of energy that you missed in your life. In others, it can be a dominant source of constant entertainment, sometimes to an almost frivolous extent. So, in the person with extroverted sensing as their inferior stressor, it's something you constantly repress. You know, a person who lacks extroverted sensing is inattentive. They don't pay attention to other people. They don't hear others. They don't see others. They don't listen to others. They disappear frequently. They ghost others. They get they're caught up in their dream world. They avoid real life. They refuse to deal with problems and issues around them. They hide inside a world of their own or get stuck on constantly preparing or thinking about life but they never actually end up doing anything. And an extroverted sensing type can help other people tackle and deal with life. They can help people remind others life is what happens in front of you and that way they can help you through it with a smile. They can help you through the difficult situations, the chaos and the intensity that reality will sometimes bring before you. 
With extroverted sensing, a lot of us struggle with staying present in life and dealing with what is in front of us. You know, some of us, uh, like the extroverted intuitives, get stuck thinking about what's next. You know, some people cannot live in the now because they're always thinking about what's going to happen tomorrow. Other types, they're constantly preparing for life and they're always trying to keep things by the books and they're always trying to uh, prepare and have information of everything ahead of time. But, you know, life is full of surprises and you cannot prepare for everything. Others, as I said, get caught in a world of their own, a little bit of a twilight zone, a little bit of a dream world. But extroverted sensing types are the only types that can, with a sense of joy and excitement, enjoy all those things, all those things that life is constantly bringing before us. So my question to you guys are, is this, how do you feel about extroverted sensing? How do you deal with life? How do you deal with reality? How do you pay attention to other people? Are you able to be present for others? Are you able to take attention to yourself? Draw attention to yourself? Are you able to stand up on stage? Or do you struggle with it? Share your experiences in the comments down below. And I hope you watched my other videos on the cognitive functions to come. And I hope you take a chance to get to know these processes in yourself. Because they are and tell us an important story about ourselves.